You guys had a certain game plan that it worked pretty well against Dame uh, in the playoffs last year. It seemed like you employed it, especially in the second half of the night. What, what's the key there for you uh, and the base coming up to helping the guards and, and how the guards do with Shooter and Caruso specifically? Uh, I mean, you have to because Dame has, uh, uh, you know, Dame has unlimited uh, range. So you have to be up on screens. Uh, once he crosses half court, he is in his range. Um, so, you know, you have to have everybody up the floor, the guy that's guarding them and the guy that's guarding the pick and roll. Um, it's going to be double drags. It's going to be single drags. There's going to be a lot of things that's going on in early transition. And uh, when you're not, um, a couple instances tonight, he made us pay for it, you know, uh, coming off and letting it go. And when we tried it, when we got it right, we was able to execute it, uh, um, you know, to the best of our ability. Dave. So rather than go away from the court for a second, um, Zlatan, the soccer player, said that he believes that famous people and athletes such as yourself shouldn't use their platform to do anything other than what they're good at in their athletic endeavor. As someone who has promoted the idea of more than an athlete and, and trying to empower um, players to, to, to use their voice to speak on their communities, do you have any response to what he said? Nah, uh, absolutely not. I mean, because at the end of the day, um, you know, I would never uh, shut up about things that's um, that's wrong. Um, I, I preach about my people and I preach about, uh, you know, equality, um, social injustice, racism, um, you know, sy systematic uh, uh, voting, uh, voter suppression, um, things that go on in our community, um, because I was a part of my community at one point and seeing the things that was going on. And I know the you know, what's going on still because I have a, a group of uh, 300 plus kids at my school that's going through the same thing and they need a, a voice. Um, um, and I'm their voice, I'm their voice and I use my platform to continue to shed light on everything that may be going on, not only in my community, but around the, uh, you know, this country and around the world. So, um, you know, if, if, if there's no reason, uh, well, no, I won't say no reason, but there's no way uh, I will ever just stick to sports because I understand how, um, you know, how this platform and how powerful my voice is. Um, and he can just ask uh, Renee uh, Montgomery, uh, you know, if I would have shut up and just dribbled. Um, seeing that beautiful black woman today, um, you know, be a part of a, a group um, where she's part of an ownership group now with the Atlanta Dream down in Atlanta. And uh, it's funny he say that because I believe in like 2018, he was the same guy who said uh, when he was back in Sweden, talking about the same things um, because his last name wasn't a certain last name that uh, he felt like it was some racism going on when he was out on the pitch. Um, right? He did say that, right? Yeah, I thought he was. I thought he said that. So um, I speak from a very educated mind. Um, so. Um, I'm kind of the wrong guy to actually go at because I do my homework. Dan? Well, I can't ask you about anything else now, so. <laughs> um, I, I, along those lines, like, when you look around this league and, and you see a new generation of players not growing into their voices, but like coming to the league with them, having them. I'm, I'm curious, how does that make you feel? And if there are there any players in particular whose leadership at a young age really speaks to you? Oh, well, one, it makes me feel um, I'm proud to be a part of a, of a generation where our voices are heard and guys are speaking from an educated um, you know, mindset. But more importantly, they speak from, uh, I think when you speak from your heart, um, it, it rings bells even louder. And, and we got, um, you know, a lot of guys that are speaking from the heart that didn't believe they had a voice at one point in time or, you know, now they're coming into it and they see that they can have a voice and, and, and that their voice really matters. Um, so that, that, that makes me proud. Um, and you, you see, uh, you know, guys like, uh, you know, uh, Jalen Brown, um, who's very, you know, obviously he, he's educated beyond his years and I, and I love the, what he stands for um, in our league. And you see Pat Mahomes, also a younger guy, and Alvin Kamara, and, you know, in the NFL, and those guys speaking about things. They're young, but they speak about things that, you know, they feel like is unjust as well um, in their communities and, 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 and whatever that's going on in the whole grand scheme of things. So, um, you know, as athletes, obviously we've been heard this for a long time to just you know, just, you know, you should be privileged. You should be, uh, you know, you should be thankful, uh, you know, to, to be able to dribble a ball or run a football or be able to uh, do a hundred yard dash or, you know, or be able to, uh, you know, swing a baseball bat and things of that nature. You shouldn't be able to speak about anything else. Um, no matter if it's right or wrong, you should, uh, should just, just do that. Um, but, 
um, that's not the case. Um, it's not the case anymore. Um, and as long as I'm around, um, it won't be the case for a long time. Um, just, just on the game tonight, um, I was wondering if you could speak to the impact of Dennis, but also just how much more fun do you guys have when, when you guys are, are playing connected that way and a little bit closer to being whole as a team? Well, I mean, obviously Dennis gives us an automatic spark. I mean, he's just, his energy alone uh, gives us a spark. Um, his competitive nature gives us a spark. And obviously we've been shorthanded as of late. So, you know, to have another body, a fresh body, well, I wouldn't say fresh when you're out of the game for, for a week. Uh, but, you know, just to have him back in our lineup and have him back in our locker room just means so much to our, to our team. So uh, it was big time in that instance. And uh, everybody just rallied around another, um, you know, tonight being able to you know, play well on the defensive end and also on the offensive end as well. Three steals. Uh, what did you see from him setting the tone on that end? Yeah, you know, we, we just try to get back to doing what we do best. You know, for a long stretch in the season, we were the best defensive team in the league. And uh, we, we took a step back from that for whatever reason, whether it was uh, discipline, focus, energy. Um, and we really just try to come out here and put together a full effort because we know what this team is capable of, especially Dame. You saw he had 25 in the first half. So, uh, you know, LeBron's our leader. Uh, he always leads by example. And, you know, I mean, he, he's still the best basketball player in the world when he – by the way, uh, Alex, it looked like you had a little collision there with LeBron. How'd yeah. that one feel? Yeah, that one hurt a little bit. You know, he, uh, <laughs> I, I tried to get skinny and just tossing the ball, and he, he tried to shake me, and I'm just glad we didn't turn it over because it was late in the game. But, uh, you know, I'll take, I'll take the win. I don't, I don't care if he runs me over every game as long as we win. Uh, fair enough. Hey, hey, look, you guys had a plan against Damian Lillard in the postseason last year in round one. Just wondered how much of that you incorporated tonight, especially without McCollum there in the backcourt. Yeah, you know, I mean, he's he's one of the best players in the league, you know, so if you don't give him the right attention, um, like I don't think we did a good enough job in the first half. Obviously, he had 25, and, and he makes it look so easy. So, you know, uh, luckily for us, they, they're missing CJ. That's usually a pretty good one-two punch, but Gary Trent is just, just as good up-and-coming player, and he's been playing well. So, uh, you know, limiting him and the other guys is really the key because Dame's going to get his regardless. Uh, he's that good of a player, but, you know, we try to make it tough on him, and I think we did a pretty good job. Yeah, Alex, anything you found to tonight, uh, just whether it was defensively, you're starting to get an offensive rhythm after that streak that you can now apply as you move forward to close things out before the All-Star break and then the second half of the season. Yeah, man, just trying to get better, right? We, we talked about it yesterday on the Instagram Live thing, and then, and then we've been saying it after all these losses. You know, we're just trying to get better, trying to find our rhythm, trying to find how we can play. And, and, and a lot of that, I think, is us just going out and playing a little nasty, you know, playing tough, uh, playing hard and encouraging each other. And, I mean, it showed tonight. All right, I'll look, we'll let you go get in the little ice bath there after that collision. But, you know, you yeah, gave thanks. him a little shot, too. Yeah, yeah, not very much, though. <laughs> not very much. All right, man, appreciate it. All right, take care. Big game, I think you hit it on the head. We all know what the Lakers miss with Anthony Davis. Okay, He's one of the best mm -hmm. players in the game. He's an all-star. But in the last four games, they've missed Dennis Schroeder. And when AD was out that first game, and you saw that Dennis was the clear-cut number two for this Laker team, they beat Minnesota, he had 24 points, and then he misses those four games. And you noticed it on both ends. <clears throat> Defensively, able to pick up a guy in 94, a guy that's able to stay in front of Dame best that he can, cause havoc. Uh, with those Portland guards. And then offensively, though, Fish, uh, the creation, uh, be able to create for others himself, hits free throws, nine for nine. Uh, and, and top it all, he makes it easier for LeBron. Bottom line, bottom line, they've missed him big time these last four games. Yeah, no, he, he's an all-star caliber player. Whether he makes the all-star teams or not, uh, you know, that's up to fans and voters, and there are only so many guys that can make the all-star team. But 